I'm Brian Hayes, and in this video, we're going to talk about the asset object in Salesforce, what it is, and why you might want to use it. So there's a standard object called assets, and it's available to anybody that has the professional or the enterprise edition. Uh, to set it up, there's really nothing you need to do except provide access to that object. Just make sure that you have the permissions to see it and make sure the related list has been added to the account record. So an asset is there in order to track a product that a company has purchased. So most people, when they think about products that are being purchased, they think about opportunity line items. And the asset object is distinct from that line item and has a couple different benefits, a couple different purposes. So the most common purpose is to track the products that you've sold to that particular account to your customer. And once you've created that asset object, you can add additional information that you might want to track related to that account. For example, let me click into an asset record here. You can add the serial number. So let's say you're selling air conditioners. Once you've sold that air conditioner and it's been shipped or it's been set aside for that particular account, you can update the asset record with the serial number and any other additional information that might be useful for tracking with that product. Most often that's going to be the status of the asset. If it's in route, if it's been shipped, if it's been installed, as well as any information about its usage and service history. So the asset object is going to be most useful on the service side of your organization. Once you've created that asset, you've got the serial number, perhaps the purchase date, install date, et cetera, you can create cases and relate them to the assets as well. Now, if you're also a customer of service cloud or of field service cloud, you can create work orders and relate those to asset records too. So let's take that air conditioner example. If you sell somebody an air conditioner, you can see when it was installed, what status it has. And then if there's any issues with that particular product, you can track those through cases. And if you have to dispatch a service person, you can do that with a work order and relate that to this asset as well. Now let's talk about some of the other use cases for asset record. Well, you can use these on the sales side of the house as well. You can track competitor products that have been purchased by a prospect or an account. Tracking competitor products can be useful for reporting on later to see how you're doing compared to the competition. It can also be helpful to see what partner products are being used or owned by your prospects and customers. For example, perhaps you provide services around particular software technologies. If you're recording that information as assets on account record, you then have a wealth of knowledge to report on for future marketing and sales campaigns. It can also be helpful if you're thinking about expanding into services for other types of software. If you already know that, for example, Alexis Rose Communications is using Sales Cloud and PandaDoc, and if you know that about a lot of other accounts, it can help you prioritize what sort of services or products to offer based off the assets that a company already owns. So you don't have to only use assets for your own products that have been sold. You can absolutely use them to track competitor products and partner products too. And just like any other object within Salesforce, you can add custom fields and relationships and modify this to fit your particular process. Now, if you're interested in using assets within your Salesforce process, but you don't wanna have somebody create all of these records manually, take a look at one of our automation of the week videos linked below where we go through the process of building out a flow to create asset records automatically when you close an opportunity. If you'd like additional training when it comes to Salesforce, take a look at our courses at academy.rotive.io and hit like and subscribe if you found this video valuable. Thanks for watching.